What do you need? Uh, uh, uh. Right, just a second, sip of coffee. Uh, let's do this. Um, Chaos Sanctuary should be pretty much nearby. This is where, yeah, this is where the waypoint is. Um, should get level 82 the Chaos Sanctuary by the looks of it. I'm halfway there. Yeah, things are looking okay. I would say it's even much more enjoyable just killing stuff as you go, as opposed to you know how I played Act 3. I would just uh, imagine I'm a sorceress, pick my teleport amulet or diadem or whatever I was using. And just breeze through the act. Kind of, you know, enjoy the open space. The wild. Where you can actually hit stuff. Act 5 won't be as generous as Act 4. Um, not even sure why I'm still checking rare boots. I've got pretty much all the possible variations that are good in terms of resistances. Perhaps I don't have the perfect roll, but realistically. I won't find any meaningful improvement to my current ones that I possess. So I'm kind of just... Why am I blazing? What? What the... I was blazing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I think this is literally the first time I'm using these boots. So I imagine my surprise when I see myself blazing. Because I think like those uh, facets give a chance to cast blaze, but since I don't have a single character that actually uses a facet. Um, I don't really know. Curse, so fuck. Not good, not That's... Ah, fuck. Um... No. Yeah. Once I kill this... Actually, since it's Chaos yeah, Sanctuary, I can actually not bother with killing everything. I mean, um, removing my curse, since I'll get cursed fairly soon by you know, Oblivion Knights or whatever. Um, they'll just override the curse into something less impactful, like the Crepify. I couldn't give less fucks about it. Let's see. No mobs. This one, I'm, I'm not even sure what what this curse does. Anyway, uh, orange and light and fire. That's fine. Nothing scary. As long as I don't get cursed by those. Where are them? Oblivion. So yes, I was correct. Yeah. As long as I don't get amplified damage on me, I'm as good as it gets. Not bad. You knights aren't. Actually, they're still pretty scary. Should have probably googled if you know running max block on paladin is a good idea or not. 
because versus Doom Knights, I imagine, makes quite the difference. They're one of the hardest hitting, uh, purely physical damage monsters in the game. Ah, uh, fuck. No. <laughs> There's too many of them, and I've got amplified damage. Um, it's like this Lord Decease. Um, that's not the guy you want to fuck with. I mean, he does have fanaticism, that's partly why. But whether opponent has fanaticism or you have an amplified damage on you, that's literally, well not literally, but kind of the same deal. Where did my life go? What's going on? Who's hitting so hard? My merc has 75 tall reds. What the fuck? Oh, I have only 18 poison. That makes sense. Uh... Yo, you did seriously need to die. Stop taking my mana. Leave my mana alone. I actually expected it to be worse in Chaos Sanctuary, but you know, that kind of makes sense, I suppose. Like, Paladin, Paladins are really awesome for uh, farming in Chaos Sanctuary. I guess it was kind of to be expected. Uh, shoot, I don't like this layout. I'll need to grab myself a teleport amulet after I spawn these. No mobs, I'll need to get the fuck out of them. There's no way in hell am I trying am I gonna try and deal with them. Well give me mana. And deal with them in such a small space, which is kind of suicidal. And I don't feel too suicidal at the moment. Those Oblivion Knights are actually hitting me quite hard. It's kind of surprising. It shouldn't be. Really. Whatever. They're also taking significant damage from me. So it's only fear. <laughs> okay, so I kill these two guys. I go switch out my gear. Then I'll take care of those minis. Um, yeah, let's do this. Actually, let's repair my stuff in case, because I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, I'm really running. Come on. Got 200k gold. That's nice. That's okay. Let's quickly do this. Um, actually, buddy. They would only come. Oh, um, that's bad. Okay, can I get this guy out? Okay. Fuck. No. No. Oh my god, no. Okay. not get cornered. So if I get into a corner that will be problematic. Can you curse me with something like life tap? The crypt fine, fine. That's fine. That's absolutely uh, I think I killed that guy, did I? Since minions aren't that scary. I mean they are when I'm amplified, but... Yeah, I 
kill them. Nice. Okay. So, two more seals to go. And I'm done with that. Four. Awesome. Sip of coffee. Now let's go kill the scary guy. The Lord, whatever, the disease. I mean, he's scary for a reason. But as long as you get his minions away from him so that they don't have uh, fanaticism aura on them, um, he's pretty easy to deal with. So, mostly people are afraid of him. Um, when they farm and they want to clear as fast and they kind of just can't jump on top of him to quickly, you know, one shot, two shot him. But if you're just playing through the game, it's not actually that hard to deal with. I would say those Venom Lords in the first seal that I spawned are actually even more difficult. Especially when the map layout is, you know, uh, like the one I got where you're kind of cornered against them, can't leave without teleport. Can try running through them, but that never ends well. And if you don't have teleport, then it's really complicated. Could this be? Oh, actually, I want to check this item. Because I'm still searching for a imperial base for some of my items. Uh, I want to really get some ethereal, like 700 armor. Nice! Awesome! Not perfect roll, but pretty good. I'll take it. I'll totally take it. curse and actually I'll do a quick minute break right then back um, yeah let's put this armor away awesome drop what I'll be doing with this armor and I've got a couple of them only one is better actually this one the rest are okay they're not fantastic basically I'll be e-bugging with perfect topaz talrune and fall and basically when you re-roll them to have uh, sockets, uh, the enhanced defense gets applied again for ethereal items. So you can get pretty nice defense armor for your merc to make up perhaps fortitude. Probably make treachery first, but I'm not sure yet. I did find, I was lucky enough to find a low rune uh, out of Andy actually, of all places, like literally Andy dropped a low rune. Um, so I can make a fortitude, which will, or a grief, I haven't yet decided. Okay, this is not good, not good. Oh, actually the crepify, whatever. Um, so yeah, I haven't decided yet what I'll make. I might go for Fortitude because I, ha I have this Barbarian in mind that I want to test out. Um, I want to do a Whirlwind Barbarian. And I want to test out two builds with him. One is Mortal King. And the other one, closer to this series, would be a more budgety version. Again, on player's aid, of course. And I'm thinking about actually going for Lawbringer. And I'm not sure if I'll go for, you know, Shield. Imagine my damage out will suck. Or some sort of a second weapon. Should be pretty safe with the Decrypify proc all the time. Um, but I'm not really, I'm far from a whirlwind barbarian expert. I'll need to do quite a bit of reading 
before I go for it. And I'll just see... Because the thing is, I don't know if having, you know, two weapons or a weapon and a sword actually changes your damage out of the first second. Especially if my second uh, sword won't be that great, because I don't have a really good one, really. Like, up to head striker is literally the best one I've got. And I just got an SMS that today's basketball is cancelled. That sucks. I was looking forward to it. Actually, actually... Oh, fuck. I probably want to remove curse. Even though these guys aren't too scary, um, I'm still fairly squishy. I'd rather not take the risk. Actually, he has curse mod. Whatever. Um, if you could please come closer. If you could please. Oh shit, that actually deals damage. Um, okay, come here, come here, Merkid him. Slow him down. Nice. Nice. Um, let's go clear out the curse and kill the Diablo. And that will be it for Act 4. Um, fairly easy, if I do say so. Compared to all the, you know, annoying places in Act 3. Um, where's the trembling? Bug usually trembles and says something for his spots. Anyway, got 85 fire res plus some fire absorb on my dwarf star, so Diablo isn't exactly a threat. Plus the 75% slow from my Merc's weapon on Diablo, so it's just kind of makes him a cute little kitty. Yeah, nothing, nothing to worry about here. Easy peasy. Ooh, perhaps I can find something good. Uh, yo, unfortunately, fuck. Let's check out these. No. Um, nothing at all. That sucks. Whatever, whatever. So, yeah, that's it for Act 4. Um. And hopefully I can finish Act 5 in the next couple of days. So that's on my to-do list. And in the meantime, if anyone actually watches me, because fuck, nobody really does. But if you do, if you do, if you're that one, one you know, God sent one guy to actually watch me, and you have some ideas on perhaps what kind of video you would like me to do, you would like to see perhaps a guide or perhaps, you know, a different character playthrough, because I still have a couple in mind, like the one I just mentioned, Wildwind Bar Barbarian, Martial Arts Assassin, Shapeshifter Druid, um, something hybrid-ish, like Lightning Fire Sork or Lightning Cold Sork. So yeah, uh, please do let me know in the comments. I would greatly appreciate that. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.